Could you suggest me a deck? I just got my first Inquisitor. Nice. Congrats. I would appreciate a cool starter deck with Inquisitor. Um, sure. Drop a screenshot somewhere on my Discord channel with your units and I'll put your nice deck together. Um, not a single Inquisitor so far. It's not great. Hmm, good friend. There we go. Oh, uh, it's a little bit unfortunate that we have Tribunal as the first boss. But uh, if you have this, uh, try to make your board as small as you can. And not drop any more units if you don't have to. Um, and always count and make sure you have a straight number. So you have three, six, seven units. That's not straight. I want a straight number. Because now I will lose um, three units. And if I had seven on the board, I would lose four units. So more than half. And now I only lose half of the units. I would lose half the units if I didn't insta kill it. <clears throat> Most beautiful country, Switzerland. Yes, it's a, it's a very decent country. That's true. Really cool. And the one danger that you have with this deck is you shouldn't just drop units like I just did. Because if you run out of mono and um, Let's say I drop one more and it's an Inquisitor. No, it's not the case. Wait a sec. Very unlucky again. Now I have an Inquisitor. As long as you have um, not the number of Inquisitor that you are supposed to have, like um, four Inquisitors or one Inquisitor or seven Inquisitors or ten Inquisitors, anything in between, you don't do any damage. So even with my broken equipment and everything, I already start to struggle. So you always need one Inquisitor or four Inquisitor. You will lose the game immediately when you run out of mana and this happens, what just happened to me. So you run out of mana and you have you don't have a straight number of uh, or the perfect number of Inquisitors and then you, you're and try to merge some stuff and maybe get your four Inquisitors together or get back to one like this which is also good but yeah make sure you always have some spare mana because that's really important if you just keep on dropping units whenever you have enough mana for one unit you will not be a good Inquisitor player Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, and the swords buffs. Um, the blue swords will give. Um, already know it, I guess. Will give the the blue stack on on this guy sometimes. And one of them is a damage increase of nearly 30%. It's like something between 20 and 30%. Depends on how high your sword is. And that's insane. That's a lot of damage. So if you get like five stacks on this guy, uh, you will do a lot of damage. And I'll show you one trick for when you have the sword at level 9. It's a huge waste. Don't do what I do now. Mm, let me get a second trapper. No, that's not the one. There you go. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, okay. Ugh, Jesus, really? Yeah, what I want to show you is swords uh, at level 9 have this talent that they start to shoot the blue the blue stuff uh, automatically like a little turret it's the guys with the little eye that is glowing not, not, not unlike these guys 
they start to just shoot the stuff and they don't shoot at other swords so if you have nothing but swords on the board which i tried to do unfortunately i did get a trapper several times in a row very unlucky but if i didn't have this guy every single shot would go on this guy and i would immediately get 10 stacks on this guy and he would do uh, like triple the damage that he would do normally it's not the end of the world if you have one guy on the board so it's 50 50 that it hits this guy or this guy but yeah i think we need to do a move we do have enough mana now to actually drop some units and hope for for the best to get some inquisitors we have three now we have four now don't be afraid to copy them with um uh with harlequin normally you're fine with four in this deck that's really good. Hope I get some more swords cards soon. Yeah, I hope so too. Swords is really broken. A very good card currently. And yeah, mainly try to copy them with your Harlequins so you can drop some more uh, blue swords. You see now I have five, I don't have four anymore and the wave already starts to push so need to be very quick. Um, there we go. Now we have four again and you see the wave gets pushed back already again. There we go. Um, let's put that one inside of this. Very cool. upgrade this thingy yeah i will most likely lose because he has a level 17 inquisitor hey, catch it and he has like a real deck so uh, with statue that's the one that huntress uh lady before recommended to go for i also recommend you to to go for that because statue is absolutely broken later on but um you can't use the scrap strategy that he's going for because uh, you will die before you get to a level where statue starts to like really pump damage so yeah you have to go with the merge strategy for now but yeah that's why i'll most likely lose because he has a proper deck <laughs> But, wait a sec. Yeah, that's way too low. Mm. Yeah, and also keep the bosses in mind always, so... <laughs> Whatever is coming up. And also the timer, because if I break up now, then the may I might end up not having this, the right amount of Inquisitors. They push till here and the bosses will have a huge amount of life and I will be fucked. So um, just gonna wait till after the boss now. Uh, in, in short, you just have to play really very, very smart and calm. Don't just drop units like a, like a mad, mad guy. Just um, play calm and, and smartly. Because if you don't do it, Inquisitor will really punish you for every mistake that you do. Big time. But if you play it right, you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. And you know what? I'm going to chill like this for a while. 20 seconds. We have seven Inquisitors. Some of them are high. We have even two swords that uh, are turrets, which is perfect. So they will just um, shoot them and make them do more damage. You achieve the same whenever you merge them, but uh, merging costs money. And this way you get um, free value by just stay shoot over time. And the reason why we have Trapper here is <clears throat> Trapper slows the enemy and um, makes the waves stack on each other. You do AoE damage, oh shit. So um, it's really, really good for everything that does AoE damage. And the damage amplification through Trapper is insane. You do like one and a half times more damage and you get a slow as well. 
uh, whenever you have like four or five trappers on the board you do a lot of damage a lot a lot of more damage Mm. Shit, that was bad. Need to upgrade them a little more. Yeah, I don't know why I'm playing serious, because I will most likely lose anyway. But yeah, I kind of want to win against this guy. Not gonna happen though, but yeah, I try. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm super tired. I <clears throat> Uh, I don't want that sword here. Please give me an Inquisitor. Yes, all right. Now we have 10 Inquisitors. Let's go. Um, it's really good. Hope. I get some more so uh, yeah makes a lot of sense really appreciate this most class <laughs> oh, thanks i try my best to explain it it's uh, it's a lot into the game the more you read the stats of every single unit and so on it, it really helps to understand the synergies between the the different units and yeah some point you will for sure do well Mm, I wish I had a turret right now. Mm, shit, don't want to merge them out. It can't stay like this either. Shit. Oh no, why? God damn it. It's 4, 8, 9. I do need to merge them. I had to get 10. Monte, I love you. <laughs> uh, ich liebe Monte auch. Cooler dude. No, I don't want to merge out the tier 4. Six, seven. Oh god, not oh, good. Ooh, a turret. Oh no. Ah, oh, god, no, no. Three, seven again. Okay. I think we'll just stick with that for now. Wie viel is the account? Ist der Account wert? Uh, um, viel. Viel, 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 danke. Mm, I don't know how, I, how much I've invested into the last two years, but I think it's five digits in the end. No, shit. Oh god, that was bad. Shit. That is bad. Hmm, sucks. Oh no, the skies. God, shit, shit, shit. There we go.
Um, save free till 5k. Yeah, I think if I would sell it now, I think I would get around 3k or something like this. I don't know. But yeah, invested over the past two years, um, way more than 10k, I think. Save 3 bis 5k, yeah, sure. Man, do I really win against this guy? Let's go! Fallen Ninjas! Even a Fallen guy, very good. GG. Yeah. This is the deck that I recommend you to play. Obviously, um, normally I don't beat guys in my league with this deck, but um, he also didn't have like the super, super strong deck, and I don't know what happened in the end um, that he couldn't stick, but stick up anymore. They also have a little bit better items than he does. I did have Trickster though, which is much worse than his gadget. Oh yeah, don't know what happened to you, man. Well, I have much more crit as well, but... As you saw, it's a pretty, pretty decent deck. Man, he had a max level trapper. What? Okay. Yeah. Make sure you have enough mana, otherwise you will immediately lose the game. That's like the main tip I can give you. Yeah. I hope you like that little mini guide. <laughs> Check out the Rosh Royale market to bring your account to the next level. Simply enter your Rosh Royale ID and use my secret code GodlikeMike. You can also send gems, battle passes and platinum to a friend's account if you want to help somebody get some legendaries. 10 winners will be drawn at the end of every month. Each of them will get rewarded with $10 worth of platinum straightly sent on his or her account. Please just don't forget to send me your Rosh Royale ID in the message box so I can send you the platinum whenever you get lucky on the giveaway. I'm live on Twitch every Saturday and I will also do the giveaway live always on the last Saturday of the month. Thanks a lot for your great support and good luck on the giveaway. Slap that subscribe button, thank you very much and see you on the next video.